What's going on, everybody? It's Lamar Fashion back again, and we're coming up on New Year's, you guys, and uh, we're celebrating another year of life. Thank you, Laura. Also, uh, I'm getting close to my first year on YouTube, and I'm so glad to be here with uh, all the other collectors. Shout out to everybody as we're looking forward to another year. And what you see in front of you, this is very special. Um, this is a car that uh, came into my mind shortly after I started collecting again. Um, what you see in front of you is um, Kyosho 164 scale. This is the Mazda Rotary Engine Mini Car Collection. You see the castings that are available. Um, but the casting we're going to be talking about is the 7A7B. Let's chop it up about some die cast, you guys. Here we go. I really like Kyosho, you guys, and uh, I'm going to give you a look at the uh, at the package so you can get a feel of um, what you would receive should you think about collecting these. Now, along the back, we see the different uh, castings available. Uh, the thing I like about Kyosho is there are uh, uh, two scale replicas, and... Um, that really fascinates me because of the attention to detail um, that they're able to pour in such a little package. So, you guys, continue to take a look. These are the other castings that were available. We're talking about uh, the race car at the bottom. We're talking about the uh, 787B, the only uh, Japanese car to ever have won Le Mans. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'm very excited, you guys. Um, I'm not going to free this piece now. I'm going to save it. Uh, this piece is more than likely going to go into my channel's cover art. So this is how it will come. You receive a card on the bottom. Let me go ahead and focus. There we go. Then you'll receive the casting in this type of packaging here. You can just pull this out. the casting is on its own base. Let's see here. We've got a collector card. Just wanted to give you a look at the car. This uh this is really amazing you guys. I'm really trying to um hold my excitement here. But here's the card that comes with it. Three different iterations of this particular car. The number 55 the car we're looking at won Le Mans. So that's very exciting. But I wanted to give you guys a look at this. Um, this is the uh, casting of the year for me. Uh, this is the casting of my collection. It's been very hard to find this. Um, it took uh, basically a year to find it, but that's pretty awesome. This thing is just amazing, and I don't know if you guys have um, looked into any video on YouTube, but the sound that comes out of a four-rotor is amazing. Just amazing detail that they're able to. Let's see if we can make out some names. There we go. Amazing detail that they put into such a small package. Um, it's just awesome, you guys, and this is the kind of stuff that I'm looking forward to collecting in the future. So awesome, you guys. I'm happy I was able to share that with you. I'm going to go ahead and um, put this away while I talk to you because I've got a bunch of castings here that we're going to crack because you know it's time to free the piece, you guys. Let's go ahead and crack some cars. Let's celebrate the new year, and let's celebrate it right. Let's start with a limited edition Hot Wheels. I don't know exactly what that means, but um, it is a limited edition Hot Wheels, apparently. This is the uh, casting for the, um, let me turn this around, for the Viper Club of America. So that's ridiculous. We've got a 97 date on this. So this may have come out in 98. Beautiful casting. 
Uh, if you're out there watching Macon, thank you, buddy, for hooking me up with this. So I'm going to go ahead, take it out of this kind of Protecto pack it comes in. We'll take a look at the card. I'll give you guys a look at that. I know card collectors are interested in that. I, I like to see them in the card, too, because the thing I like about seeing them in the card is seeing them out of the card. So that's pretty cool. There we go, you guys. Awesome. Let's free the piece. Let's crack some cars, you guys. And I always enjoy cracking uh, hard-to-find Hot Wheels. Now, one day, I, I know I'm going to foolishly shell out the money for BRE Dotson just to crack it. I know I'm going to do it. I know it's coming, you guys. I do want to apologize in advance. This is an awesome Viper casting. First off, we'll take a look at the base. That's completely metal. We've got rubber tires with tread or real riders. Painted details on the base. Very nice, you guys. This casting is heavy. And what is really exciting me about this casting now is I've realized that this is a 100% series casting. So, it has an extra detail. It has an opening hood. And let's see if I can give you guys a look at how they detailed the V10. Uh, Mattel... Extremely impressed with this. I see why these castings are hard to find. 100% uh, Hot Wheels castings. Very, very nice. I am so pleased about this Viper. I had no idea. That was an extra surprise. This is extremely well executed by Mattel. I am thoroughly impressed. You guys, comment below. Am I seeing through rose-colored glasses because I'm a huge Viper fan? Or is it really a great casting? I just want to know what you guys think, you know, stir up a little discussion as we close out this year and celebrate what God has given us and the fact that we can uh, collect these little cars and uh, make friends. It's a wonderful thing. And let's keep it going. How do I want to keep it going? I'm going to jump all over the place. Here we go. Hey, I love America. So here we go. From Auto World... Luxury Cruisers, we've got the 67 Cadillac Eldorado. You guys, that is a pimp beast right there. This thing is a straight boat. And I have seen this on the road. I see it regularly. There, there are actually quite a few of these in the area. And uh, they're up and running. Let's take a look at the back of the card. If you guys haven't seen these Auto World cards, it's because... You haven't taken the time to get into Auto World. I do recommend it. I recommend it highly. Check Auto World out, you guys. That's the rest of the card. Awesome, you guys. Let's go ahead and free the piece. You know how we do it. We gotta crack some cars. I wanted to crack some cars for all my friends out there. And let's explain what's going on here. With these Auto World castings, you get this matchbox style box has graduations across the top I guess to that's to denote scale as this says it's true 164 scale which I believe because um, this thing just dwarfs mo most other cars so there's the box and let's take a look at the casting so happy to have another Auto World Cadillac free um, this is a uh, Shout out to the whole community. If someone can help me out on the black version of the uh, Auto World Cadillac, I forget which one it is. I guess it's the Sedan DeVille. Please comment below. Now, these Auto Worlds, let's take a close look. For the money, you can't beat this. This is, um, this is basically a step above RC2 or maybe right at the level of RC2 Johnny Lightning, which I argue was the quality era of Johnny, Johnny Lightning. There we go. Look at the detail. This is basically, what, a $5 car? For five bucks, I'm with this every day of the week. That's awesome. I don't know if you guys can even see that. There we go. But very, very nice. Oh, one detail. I've been missing my details, you guys. 
these cars feature opening hoods and I don't know how much it wants to open I'm scared to break the casting I've had let's see I'll take it off camera let's see if I can actually open this hood and it opens all the way yeah it does excellent I'm so glad I was able to do that so you could take a look under the hood just awesome detail from the air cleaner to the radiator and the valve covers I mean it's just there's a lot going on in there for five bucks I love it and see and that's that's the beautiful thing about this hobby it doesn't have to break the bank the hard part is is it starts getting into you and and you want castings all the time and then it starts to break the bank let's keep it going you guys I just want to crack some cars for all my friends out there awesome I've got a uh, slick rides from Hot Wheels Dodge A100 let's go ahead and crack that free the piece you guys have seen these cards I know you guys have seen all this stuff but uh, I just recently found this particular casting and it's awesome to have this it's just a little nostalgia for me as there's a 76 station uh, just uh, on the next block it's been there for a long time very nice casting you guys the slick rides are really cool in terms of Hot Wheels we've got metal on metal we've got real riders these real riders look pretty good that is an awesome looking van and not the only van we're going to have tonight, you guys. I've got another van in store. It's going to be wonderful. I'm going to have to pull out, I guess, because uh, we don't have enough room to work with. There we go. Awesome, you guys. I just love cracking cars, especially with you guys, because you guys are really cool to hang out with. Let's go ahead and crack the other van while we're standing here. Because it got two really cool castings uh, for last. Not that this one isn't cool. This is Green Lights, um, County Roads, Series 7. The 77 Chevrolet G20 van. This one is the McMurphy Lawn Care. That's really sweet. And just really reminds you of something that you might see driving around a neighborhood and servicing clients that's just too cool take a look at the back features other castings available in the release and a bunch of health and safety warnings so that's pretty cool you guys let's go ahead and free the piece you guys crack your cars they just look so awesome out of the package especially when you get into stuff like this that is the sick business you guys I really like this but you know what every last green light van that I've cracked I've really liked it and this one is no different again with green light we've got a metal base rubber tires with tread just awesome but look at the rims you know they spent a little money on their van made it look good you know, the McMurphys wanted to put some rims on it. I don't blame them. I can't blame them for that. I think it's a wonderful idea. If you guys can even see this, I don't know how I really want to organize this. Well, what do you know? Something worked out indeed. Awesome, you guys. I'm absolutely loving it. I'm having so much fun. You know, it's good to have a break and spend some time with you guys. Um, just to get away, you know. Sometimes you have to get away. So th that's another reason why I love cracking these cars for you guys. We got another cool, cool one here. This one from Muscle Machines. Just jumping around. Uh, this is the... The Datsun 240Z. Haven't done this in a while, you guys. I do apologize. I, I just haven't gone after these. But these are really cool. Let's take a look at the back of the card. So these came out. We've got an 03 date, maybe 04. Not entirely sure. But uh, 
the thing I like about these muscle machines is um, just the whole import tuner scene. That's pretty cool because I remember uh, when Import Tuner Magazine, there we go, first came out. Go ahead and free the piece while I talk to you guys. That was kind of a big deal. That was kind of a big deal. Captured everybody's imagination. Gran Turismo as well. You guys remember this. Okay. So the casting comes with this card. The same on the front and on the back. Let me... There you go. You guys can take a look at that. Awesome. On to the casting. Let's take a look. So happy to have this one in my garage, you guys. This is ridiculous. So this is the Datsun 240Z. Done up like some import tuner race car. Let's take a look under the hood. That is insane. Can I get you guys to see this a little better? That is just pure insanity. There we go. What a great casting. The hood closes nice. It's bottle fed, of course. You know, all babies, they need their bottles. Huge wing in the back. Massive dual exhaust in the rear. Love these wheels and tires. Notice the detail for the, uh, for the brakes and the rotors. That's just complete insanity. We take a look at the base. The base is plastic, but that doesn't matter. There's a whole lot going on here. And the uh, Kyoshos, they all have plastic bases. But this is ridiculous. Look at that, you guys. That's the sick business right there. Awesome. And one last one. Uh, just want to give a shout out to a Good friend of mine, um, Mr. Deals on Diecast, Mr. David C. David, what's up, dude? This one's for you, buddy. Um, here you go. I know you really like this casting, so it's a big shout out to you. I'd figure I'd crack a Gran Torino. I've been wanting to do this for a while, so let's go ahead and free the peas. This is awesome. I'm so glad I was able to chase one of these down. And it was really reasonable, and that's what I feel best about when it comes to this casting, that it was reasonable. Again, a great looking Hot Wheels. They're more uh, adult collector lines. They do a really good job. This is absolutely fantastic. I have to say that, that I really like this car a lot, and uh, just as I turn it round and round to take a look, got a metal base, you guys with real riders this is quickly becoming a favorite that I don't like um, we got health and safety warnings in the back but I do like the the detail for the plate that looks very very authentic indeed awesome you guys you know what I just want to tell you guys that I really enjoyed hanging out with y'all and you know what let let's uh let's do our part to make uh 2016 a better year than this year was and if this year was great for you well i hope it keeps on rolling you guys thanks so much for joining me and if you have any questions or comments please leave those below and feel free to subscribe thank you to all new subscribers take care everybody God bless you and your families. Audi 5000.